So, a very nice man from Yodel has delivered this this morning. I don't think there's going to be any massive prizes for guessing where it's from. So, we're going to do a bit of an unboxing. Boring, I know, but there's loads of stuff in the bag. Um, but I'm intending to release this video when we've had the machine for a few months. So we can give an honest view about what it's actually like on a day-to-day -day basis. So, here we go.
Before use, the Nespresso machine needs to be cleaned. You'll need to make sure you have at least 2 litres of water in the reservoir. And to activate the cleaning cycle, just press the button on top 3 times. The cleaning cycle takes 4 or 5 minutes to run. Always be sure never to replace the water from the reservoir with the water from the cleaning cycle. Now for the exciting part, you're ready to make your first coffee. Our first ever coffee was a mug sized Melosio, which is a 230 milliliter capsule. It was pure luck that these glass mugs that we had lying around were exactly the right size, although while we were making the coffee, we did think that it was going to have a bit of overspill. This was genuinely our first ever coffee pour and we're really holding our nerve here because we thought it was going to overflow. The Arachino 3 milk frother is an essential addition to your coffee machine. There are measuring marks on the inside of the frother but after a while you just learn to eyeball it. We tend to always use full fat cow's milk with our drinks although other types of milk will work. 
we've had reasonably good results with skim milk too. One quick press on the frother button and the machine does its thing. It's important not to overfill the frother with milk otherwise a mess will ensue. Although not shown in this video, three quick presses of the button will result in cold froth milk for iced coffees. Used capsules are automatically deposited in the capsule reservoir at the back of the machine every time you open the top of the coffee machine. These should be disposed of using the recycling bags from Nespresso. Please note you do not need to remove the water reservoir to remove the capsules. So this is pretty much all the footage I shot on day one of ownership, so on to the review. So uh, here we are in sunny July ready for the review part of the Nespresso Virtua Plus. As you can see we've got an aftermarket uh, capsule rotunda here and I'm in massive OCD mode at the moment because we're due to make an order soon and obviously the capsules aren't nicely arranged as they normally would be. So onto the review. I pretty much haven't got anything bad to say about the machine. There are one or two little quirks. I'm going to start off by saying how fantastic customer service at Nespresso is. Um, I hadn't had the machine very long where I dropped the lid of the Aeroccino onto the tiled floor and it cracked. And I emailed them and said, look, I'm really sorry I've dropped my Nespresso Aeroccino lid and how can I buy a new one because I couldn't find it on the website. And they sent me a very nice email back apologising for the fact that I'd broken my uh, lid. And they sent me one out immediately in the post, which was really great. So, customer service par excellence. Um, can I say there's anything that slightly niggles me about this machine? Not really. Um, there's one thing I've noticed, uh, and that is when you sometimes when you lift the lid of the machine the capsule gets stuck in this little cup here or it gets jammed at the back and doesn't fall into the reservoir um, these are very very minor complaints I wouldn't say that it detracts from the enjoyment of the machine at all although it is something to be aware of if you're an Espresso Virtua Plus owner I, I still don't get tired of that by the way. I've had it like over six months now and I still love the one touch openy closey thing. A few weeks ago we did have a warning light come up on the machine. Uh, we were still able to make coffees but when I looked it up on the uh, lovely internet it said that we needed to do a descale. So with my coffee order I ordered an espresso descaling kit which comes with two, two sachets of descaling fluid. Um, I did. I won't make a video about that aspect of it because there's a much better one on the um, internet already which I'll link to. And the cycle did take around about 20 minutes to complete however our, once that was done we were able to continue uh, using our coffee machine as normal and the warning lights went off. There are a very wide range of capsules available for the machine. We've tried nearly all of them and nearly all of the ones that we've tried we liked. Uh, ranging from the single shot uh, espressos, oh, which I've just flung onto the, to the counter, um, the double espressos through to the larger um, lungos and mugs and then the altos as well, which I normally reserve myself for a, a weekend treat. The neighbours think I must be drinking Guinness first thing in the morning on a Saturday because a pint of coffee in a pint mug does look a lot like a pint of Guinness. We kept the lid from the sample selection that we had when we ordered the Nespresso machine and that's got nearly all of the capsules that they sell, although that from time to time they do have special offers with different ones. When reordering coffee I tend to use the Nespresso app for Android. I find this particularly easy to use and I've never had any problems with deliveries. Everything always seems to turn up within a day or two of the order. 
I rarely, if ever, use the website for ordering. However, it seems well laid out and it's quite an attractive website that seems to be updated frequently with special offers and new coffees. The ability to make longer coffees was a key selling factor when I was considering buying a machine. My wife and I both drink coffee, me probably slightly more than she, but that's probably because her morning drink is usually tea. We've owned filter coffee machines before and espresso makers. However, this seemed to be the best compromise if we wanted to drink both kinds of coffee. There's very little cleaning and maintenance involved with an Espresso Virtua Plus and, a, and I think that was another selling point as well. Because there are a very wide range of capsules of different sizes and different strengths, the machine is a very versatile one. Even more so when it's paired with an Aeroccino milk frother. The Nespresso Virtua Plus is our first capsule machine and we're really not disappointed at all. After six months of ownership, we found it to be reliable as it continues to make us coffee after coffee of very, very high quality. The coffee that it makes is easily as good, if not better than any coffee we've had in coffee shops. While I do not have a great amount of experience with the capsule machines, I would not hesitate to go out and buy this machine again or recommend it to anybody. All in all, we're very happy with our purchase and would like to recommend it to you. It's been six, six months since we started filming for this video and we weren't sure whether it was ever going to be published. But I think that now I would definitely have to say that the Nespresso Virtua Plus and Aeroccino Milk Frother are a really great addition to any kitchen. This concludes our video. We hope you've enjoyed it. See you again. Bye.